I'll be doing my illustrator study on Lois Ellert. Lois Ellert was born on November 9th in 1934 in Beaver Dam, Wisconsin. She grew up in a home to parents of Harry and Gladys Ellert. Her father was into woodworking as her mother sewed in her free time. Her parents encouraged her artistic ability at a very young age. She attended Leighton School of Art and graduated in 1957. After Leighton, she worked numerous years in graphic design, finally releasing her first book, Growing Vegetable Soup. Growing Vegetable Soup, she does really, really good in here with all of her colors and shapes and lines. The lines really move you through the book on the uh, every page. I feel like it draws you closer and closer. The colors, again, very vibrant. The shapes, all the different shapes are all different cutouts. The lines, though, what really here makes your eyes move down to each individual pea plant and all the different seeds. How I would use this in a classroom, I would use this in a science room with like development of plants, going through that kind of process, mainly for a younger age group, uh, growing vegetable soup. The next book that I go into is Feathers for Lunch. Feathers for Lunch is a really, again, really good book. Uh, she do She goes again with the different like little cutouts with birds and the cat. So the colors in here are also again really vibrant. The shapes, they bring you in. The lines, again, how she makes the stem curve over the cat. You see the cat, again, leading you from down from the bottom of the page up to the bird. I think that's really smart with her leading your eyes through the book. The texture in this, I feel, is a little bit better than growing vegetable soup with like the cat you can tell the different blotchiness of the cat and the bird's wings and the flowers so overall I think she did really really good on this book I would use this also in a science classroom on the study of birds at the end of the book you can go through and actually look at the different birds how big they are what kind of food they eat what where they want to live and that kind of stuff so really great book at the end of this Waiting for Wings, another good one. She goes through with starting off. It's a sort of a weird uh, book as you go through the different pages. You sort of build up through the book. And eventually you work with all these different colors. Again, very vibrant, really catches the eye, leads you in. The, sh the different shapes of the butterflies and the flowers, the lines, again, like I said, eye movement is a really major key when you're trying to grab attention, and she does that really well. The texture of the flowers is different on every single one. The butterflies also have that as well. So, again, really great job. And then at the end of the book, again, as well, she does all the different kinds of butterflies, and then she also has some butterfly information in the back. So the study of butterflies, where when we do that in a little kid's room and you have caterpillars and they go through the process of becoming a butterfly, this would be a great book to show. Her next one, Snowballs. Her usage of taking pictures and taking everyday objects and teaching how to make different kinds of snowmen, I thought that was really clever, but also still using the... The, the, the different cutouts and stuff. But using everyday objects, I thought that was really smart. So then the texture really pops on the pages. The lines, again, going each different direction. All the different kinds of shapes that you have. And then the color, again, always just grabbing some sort of color, grabbing your attention and leading you through the book. And then I would use this in my classroom for different seasons. And also on the next book that we're going to go to, I would use this that one also during the different season changes leading me to my next one leaf man uh i think the leaf man book is one of her better books in each in each page there's some sort of hidden picture within it so obviously we have leaf man right here with his two eyes as the acorn and the body going down her colors are all the different kinds of the different changes of the leaves so the reds the yellows the greens the browns even her shapes are all the different shapes of the different leaves, so you're going to get everything from the maple leaves to uh, all the different pine trees and stuff like that. And the texture is really good as well when she even shows like the, like the veins running through the leaves and stuff. I think she did really well. And again, I would use this book 
in the in the classroom going through the different seasons and how the seasons change and that kind of stuff. Lois Ellert, great illustrator.